in this video, <clears throat> we're going to work on a card reader. This one, the uh, power is cutting in and out. It came off a ski ball. I, I wired up a little test rig here so that I can test these back here. I would think that this is probably going to be a common problem. This is the connector here. It's uh, real tough to get the connector off of there. And there's not a good place. There's usually a hole in the cabinet here. So it's about this deep and you're trying to reach in and get this connector off. So everybody just wiggles real hard on it. So I think that the problem is, is uh, cracked solder joints on the back side of this board that hold this connector in. Go ahead and test it out. Okay, plugged in, nothing. If I push in on it, and it comes on. I let go, nothing. Push in on it. So it could be a broken trace too, but I imagine it has something to do with this connector. So we're gonna take it apart and see if we can't get that fixed. Stay tuned. And you know how long it's been I've been like black a bowl. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked, got the mallet in my grasp. Waiting for the moles, ha, hiding in their holes. Score, we're keeping tally, I'll be playing till they close now. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster. You can ask my baby. Dark soul then gets faster. I'm a record sad or my Alright, so I've never taken one of these apart before, even though I think I know how to fix it. So hopefully it's not terrible. Probably four screws on this plastic piece, probably four or less screws holding that on, and then you can probably get to it. So this happens quite a bit, and I know of several times I've thought it was the connector and not the board, because when I went and looked through the spare harnesses, almost everyone was missing that connector, and I just wanted to put it on a 12 volt power supply so that I could test these in the office. I don't need it to be hooked to the internet or take credits or anything like that. I just need to see if it's getting power. Okay, that was easy enough. And looks like two screws holding it in. I think these are $350 a piece. So if I can fix one, and save some big money. And I imagine we have a stack of these, at least three. Connected here with a lot of stuff. I don't know if I can get this out or not. I thought I could just slide that out. I don't want to risk it though. What can I unplug? This guy will come out. I don't want to mess up any more connectors while I'm trying to do this. Just going to ease this out. And, oops. My little screwdriver. Oh, I don't know, Cut a trace. Okay. There's another one here. Can get my fingernail on that one. And that one here. Hope these aren't all the same size. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should have paid a little bit more attention, but you know what? I have it on video, so. Alright, so now we are looking at 
this guy right here. I can't put you under the microscope, under the magnifying glass. Get that light going again. Even if I can't visually see the problem with the magnifying glass, I'm almost 100% sure this is the problem. Oh, it's super fuzzy for some reason. any other problems. I don't see any broken traces or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all this hair off of here as it's pretty gross. I can't really see what I'm doing. And I don't want to set my iron on there and smell burnt hair or whatever that is. So I'm going to clean this up and we'll come back and take a look at it. Probably didn't reflow the solder on it. Okay, so <laughs> I went ahead and soldered this kind of off camera. Um, I filmed it, but some uh, little boy was being naughty out there and was getting his butt whipped. So I'm not going to use that. Uh, I'm just going to have to figure out how these go on here. Let's see. I think this one goes in the bottom and this one goes in the bottom. I think this one goes on top. Let's go ahead and put these bottom ones on first. Just this way. I think. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. going by the way the way they're naturally shaped they're, they're going to want to plug in one way over the other this one looks like it'll go oh there we are so this one will fit that way too let's see they could have made it easier and not made them the same amount of pins that would have been nice It doesn't make sense for this one to be bent the way it is on the other side. You gotta be careful of this little film here. Okay, so the big one is going to go right here. I'm probably having a hard time seeing this, but so am I. swipe the other one is going to the display here so that we'll find out if this is right we don't even know if I fixed it yet so this is really awkward to try to put in like this there we go fell in. Alright, let's see how that goes. Clear a couple wires here in the corner. I'm cooperating. That one weird plug. Okay, so let's put a couple screws in, then we can test it. I think that's right though. I may, I may have it sitting in there a little wonky. A little different than it was originally. And I think we got it right. I 
I'm running out of time again. Getting ready to close. Everything always takes me longer than I think it's going to. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it in to the harness. Hopefully it just comes on, so I don't have to push it in. Okay. And staying on. And give it a second. I'm going to give it the wiggle test. It's pretty good. It's staying on now. Let's see if you can see me wiggling it and on. It's pretty good. I'd say that got it. So I figured that was the problem with this thing getting yanked in and out like that all the time. And like I said, it, it's coming. I mean, you really have to. You, you can only get about this much of your fingers on there. And uh, it's about all you can get to try to hit that little tab and pull it out so I can see that happening. But if you're having a problem with those, save yourself 350 bucks, bust out the soldering iron and screwdriver, get after that connector. Hope that helps. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. So I didn't get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah! Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.